Hello, and welcome to Real Estate in a Minute. I'm George Mueller with Century 21 SGO. Today's topic, page seven of the real estate contract. For page seven, it focuses on three paragraphs. Paragraphs 20, damage to real estate or condemnation prior to closing. 21, condition of real estate and inspection. And then 22, seller representations. Simply, paragraph 20, damage to real estate or condemnation prior to closing. This allows the buyer to terminate the contract if the property is destroyed, damaged, or taken by condemnation. Paragraph 21, condition of real estate and inspection, as I'm highlighting this. This requires the seller to leave the real estate in broom clean condition, meaning swept and all trash removed. It also allows the buyer to make the walkthrough inspection prior to closing to verify that the property is in the same condition as to when the contract was signed. Paragraph 22, seller representation. We break this up into two sections. Please do not overlook these. In paragraph 22, the seller makes certain representations and if these representations are not true and it is discovered later, after the closing, that the seller knew this, the seller could be held responsible. I wanna highlight line H in particular, and this deals with improvements to real estate for which a permit required was not filed for. Many times homeowners add decks and the likes or make other improvements without obtaining the proper permits. This is something that may trip you up later down the road, so just be aware of this. The second portion of paragraph 22. The seller makes four representations on lines 297 through 303 that the property is or is not subject to a pending or unconfirmed special assessment, located within a special service area, that the property is fully assessed and not eligible for a tax exemption. I recommend that the is not box be checked to make sure that if the properties are in a special service area or there is a special assessment, the seller is responsible for checking these out. So you as the buyer, leave these blank. Have the seller fill this out. I would not want somebody to be tripped up on something that they did not know about. And that's Real Estate in a Minute. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions.